Diabolical over for the team one ready to go short and deadly just had himself a hell of a run We got SL Chief tier as well as Vol gonna be first up versus Supa as he's opening up with a frosty mage Volk immediately the trick is before that CC can follow through stun onto Super trying to see if he can close that gap maybe for a fear PI gonna spell stolen for Volk as he's trying to see if he can mow his way over there he's gonna go for the fade just to get away from the guy for just a moment Final was close enough for a fear, but he's going to be able to get away and reposition entirely. If anything, best you can do at this point is maybe just remove his PI. <laughs> Applying PI on yourself for the mage to spell steal it doesn't feel great. The flurry and ray of frost, by the way, does a lot of damage for Volk. That is going to be his cloak activated. It's going to get interrupted on the holy using yet another fate to try to see if he can close the gap. Spike going to do a bit of damage. That is going to be a bit of that shatter fear to follow. Finally get himself a proper go. Looking for recovery with a mind games right after silence to follow. Super does go for the trick. It could be an ice block situation with that void torrent. It's going to go for the ice block just to get himself a little bit of recovery. As Volk at least had himself a couple of images, a couple of uh targets to build up resources off of so maybe that could be a lot of that devouring plague damage stun onto super with a shadow crash to follow breath right after but is looking to make his escape slowing down the priest setting up a ring of frost over on the far side a vault wants to close the gap but he's gonna probably have to wait until the next fade is available for super just looking for a bit of that recovery while he's got dots on him with a shield as well and for Volk, he just needs himself a proper like stun fear go i really want to see how that works out Fear onto Super with an eruption right after. Lots of damage available. Trying to see if we can blast him from a distance. This was Super trying to see if we can get away. Trying to go for the big uh, ray of frost and blink him. But I think the blink might have actually got him too far away from Volk and broke that tether. If you can go for flurry and beam, then blink to a safe location. That's a lot of damage that you just can't really control. That he can't really respond to whatsoever. <laughs> and Volk, yo, chilled. He was like, yo, I got mage food. Oh, not mage food. I got mana this time. Because he was talking about like, man, I run out of resources quick. This time he's going to be drinking like he's a priest in the arena. Got himself a, a shadow of frostbolt to follow him. Big damage with all the AoE. With a glacier spike on top of it. Trying to see if he can fade it. Does end up successful fading it. But it's still quite a lot of damage that he just has to take right to the face. And is looking to get himself a bit of a position. Super does have the massive advantage of slows. NCC, but a quick fear, quick juke, a kick, big PI available. Volk with this uh, play on top of it, silence to follow. Super taking a lot of damage. Void Torrent, can you interrupt it? Does go for a blink away, and that's gonna be even more. Oh my god, the play insanity is doing a number on the guy right now. Super in the situation where he's just playing super defense, he doesn't even want to think about spell stealing the PI. Looking for a wall of ice. Oh, that's actually gonna slow Volk right now. Wait, cleaving the wall, cleaves into super. You're still doing damage to this guy. He's still taking a lot of hits. Hold on a second. Enter one more cha uh, ch channel. Does go for a bit of an invis. Super, you just gave him another target and you can just cleave off of it onto you. I hope you realize what you just did for yourself. You almost just ended yourself with this cleave. You're still taking a lot of damage. <laughs> And every time you got images too, you can just cleave off of those as well if you wanted to. Quick trinket out of super, breath to follow, trinket out of bulk with a stun. The super goes in for a blink, silence with a void turn. I think it might be an icebox situation. Unless he just dies. Oh, maybe you have master spell. You have master spell. I don't think you spec into it, right? Yeah, did not spec into master spell. It gives super an opportunity to go for a bit of a reset. I feel like master spell situationally can be good. You don't always need it. But it's almost like there's I feel like there's a lot of situations where you would use it than where you wouldn't. You know what I mean? Gonna be a knockback onto Volk. Trying to see if you can spike him down really quickly. Gonna be flame synergy. Get interrupted on the shadow. The Ray of Frost is gonna do quite a number, but he's trying to see if he can just heal through it with dampening only at 16%. Able to fight right through the damage with his healing. Gonna be yet another torrent. Big blasters does end up collapsing all of this damage onto the mage, just taking him right into the void and erupting him from the inside. Business is gonna be up next. Does he have the, any business in here? <laughs> As Volk is going to have to go over Seferal. I want to see how it chilled on the Shadow Priest approaches Feral Druids. Because he did say he feels pretty confident about playing Rogues. But I guess a Feral Druid, I do wonder how that's going to go. Immediate Cyclone onto the uh, Shadow uh, Disperse. Just to el eliminate any of that self-healing the Volk may be able to get inside of that window. But it is going to be able to at least give him a breather. Let him catch up a couple flash heals. Perfect opportunity to go in back in there with a full incarnation. Full damage of the ready. Fear onto the Feral Druid. With a PI available for Volk. Trying to go for full burst stun to business. Trying to go for mind games. That is going to actually result in some healing to Volk. Into yet another stun. Volk got himself a little bit of damage. Vampiric Embrace to give him a lot of damage for the healing he does. Or healing for the damage he does. 
with the silence of the Feral Jude on top of it, does end up going for a full wall, but Volk, look at his recovery, just chopping himself up with a couple flash shells, but that vampiric embrace is doing wonders for him. That's business going in for a couple of Rigos back behind the pillar. Wait, is that what the druid set looks like without like the dress? Or am I misremembering it? Because that looks really good. Minus like the dress part, that whole like Wrath of the Lich King set. Is that what that looks like normally? Or is that like a different setup right now? That looks good. Wait a second, that's a solid mod. You never really get to see Feral Druids and appreciate their mods until 10 2 when you get like brand new forms. If you're onto business, gives Volk an opportunity to at least get a setup mind game stun right after. Does he have himself a big go right now? He got himself Siphoned to reduce some of the healing of Feral. Void trying to send him behind the pillar, trying to see if he can get out of there, looking for a bit of healing, but DPs and executes are going to be huge. Well, the Shadow Crusher on the corner, I don't even know if that connected, but it's trying to go for as much healing as possible. The mage dropping him down some food that might not even do much. And Volk does end up beaming him down fairly quickly. Take it out too so far. That looks good. I think this is the OG Dream Weaver of 16 Axe. Is that what that is? That looks good. It looks so much nicer without the robe. I agree. That looks so much better without the robe. That's a good looking set. Volk trying to see if he can get himself a bit of a shield. Flash shield right after. Not in a good spot. Fear onto Flex does go for a kick. And that's going to be Juke out for more. To Volk, that's an opportunity for him to go for a little bit of healing. Immune to CC for a little bit of time. Nagma control Flex. Stun right after. Do you trinket this one? Bark skin instead. This is going to be Feral sending in probably a lot of his cooldowns. Incarnation is in play. For Volk, this could be a dispersed situation. Trying to go for Water Eruption. Interrupted on Shadow. Has access to Holy. He's going to switch out from one spell to another. Silence onto that Cyclone. Mind Games right after. Flexi Bites could be in a bad spot right now. Maybe Fade with this one. Oh, Fade does end up fading. It's still lots of damage on Flexi though. Can't really stop it. Shadow crashes. He's trying to see if he can back up out of the lick of all those regroves. But the Feral is under its under pressure from a Shadow Priest. What is this? I thought this thing just going down. No way. Yo, is this the first time we've seen a Shadow Priest just absolutely bully Ferals in the arena? Rosy Sniper up next, trying to go for an intro. This is going to get juked down by Volk with a Disperse right after. Trying to see if he can send a couple of nades back to back. Volk is going to go for that Void Operation to reposition entirely. Gives him a second just to catch up a couple of flash heals as Rosie trying not to give this man any opportunity to come back from this one. Put the pressure on the Shadow Priest as much pressure as he can. And then try to see if you can just end him right here. It is going to be a bonding shot to stun him. Does go in for faint death to remove the dots. We're just going to fear him. Second fear, proper fear out of Volk with a mind games. Raptor will not have a way to remove the mind games. Can't really heal himself. Does go in for survival of the fittest just to reduce some of the damage taken. But it's under a ton of pressure. Freeze onto Volk. So Rosie needs to go for a bit of a recovery. Does get the cloak procket on him. So has their emergency healing right there. Has access to turtle shell. Maybe Exil. But unless Volk can maybe get another setup with a fear stun. He'll be golden. Big drains onto Rosie. Does go in for a fade really quickly. Trying to avoid the damage. But it's going to be Shadow Lord Death. Just to collapse and erupt everything he is in. Oh no man. No no no. It's Majao last. Wait what are you doing? Are you? <laughs> why are you? Wait why are you fighting short deadly? That... I thought it was going to be this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just sending short deadly into an early grave. What is happening? <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to be fighting Volk? What is going on? He's just going after the, ma uh, the warrior. He doesn't even care about the Shadow Priest. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? Chaos. Pandemonium. Their minds have been wrought. <laughs> Volk, just, he's just like cleaving. All this damage he's doing to the allies of Majawa, I think just psychically hit him in more ways than one. And Majawa is just trying to kill Short and Deadly at this point. That or Short and Deadly went over there to mess with him. Because usually he doesn't like to attack people randomly. But I think it's just... I was trying to see if maybe Volk would be able to go for 1v5 and everybody attacks you. I wanted to see if Chilled and the Shadow Priest could finally get a proper 1v5, man. That's about all we could do is 1v4. I don't get why he's hitting me. He's missing the pants. Oh, wait, who was? <laughs> Start and Deadly? You just want to start and hitting you? Okay. <laughs> I was really hoping to see if Chilled Puzzle would be able to get a proper 1v5 tonight, but I guess not. Not on the cards. Uh, I just didn't do anything. You followed me and parked the bus in the end.